played two games on the trip. Uh, fortunate enough to win both games, but I think the, even more important than the wins was multiple guys getting to play a ton. Uh, we had four true freshmen, uh, one redshirt freshman, four, uh, three other sophomores, uh, and only three seniors and a junior. So the, our, our, the breakdown of our crew is pretty young. And getting the chance to just kind of sit there and, and throw some guys out there and not have them worry about the pressure of, you know, what happens if we win or lose. You know, just go play. So uh, it was good. We tried to balance it. You know, we said it's a basketball trip. We try to treat it as our Olympics, you know, with this being an Olympic year. And so, you know, the practices were like our training camp. And ironically, the Olympics were going on at the same time. We were kind of prepping. And it ended before we left, so it was perfect. But uh, even though it was business involved, we want to make sure they have a good time. And the Wednesday of the week, we had a day off. And we woke up that morning, had breakfast, and we went to visit a, a local orphanage. Uh, that was about 10, 15 minutes from our hotel. Just a chance to do some community service. Um, I think one of the biggest things in college athletics is athletes. You know, I love the fact they get a ton of attention. It's all about them, and that's part of it. But anytime they can just take an hour, hour and a half, and step outside themselves and be a giver, uh, probably one of the greatest gifts that we can give them as coaches. I think the, if there's the, the single biggest positive, other than the, the chemistry part in terms of the guys spending time together, we had you know eating meals together, um, guys hanging out on the beach together, that type of thing, um, was I think we could be a little deeper uh, than I expected. Um, you, know, you never really know what translates with freshmen until you see them play. And this is our first time seeing these freshmen play since, you know, their high school season. And before that, it was AAU ball. So, um, yeah, a lot of those guys were able to show us some signs of, you know, kind of the old Dennis Green, you know, they are who we thought they were. And that's a good thing. I think just the time spent, you know, with the guys was really good. And um, we're actually going to back off of them a little bit this first couple weeks of school because the time in this trip is normally when they'd be home. And uh, after summer school, so um, you know we're not going to start up till probably after Labor Day in terms of you know getting back in the gym and doing some skill stuff. But um, but no, I, a very positive experience for us. Um, it's a shame you can't do one of those every year. But uh, we'll be heading to Alaska over Thanksgiving, so we thought let's go somewhere warm when we're tuning up and let them freeze their butts off when it counts. <laughs>